Hi, my name is Lisa Wade and I am a senior in the Environmental Hydrology and Water Resources Program here at the U of A. Hi, my name is Vanessa. I'm a chemical engineering junior. Um, hi, I'm Kristen. I'm an engineering management senior. And I'll be one of the guides here for the 2009 College of Engineering Design Day. Kevin, would you mind telling us a little bit about your project? Yeah, we uh, designed a stabilized helicopter landing platform for uh, Boeing Rotorcraft Systems in Mesa, Arizona. Our sponsor was uh, Rod Burt at Texas Instruments. And our overall goal was to make a wireless, portable brainwave monitor. Our project was basically designed a robotic system seen behind me here for applying carbon laminate to the inside of large diameter concrete pipes. Our sponsor is the Grand Canyon Riverboat Outfitters Association. And what they asked us to do is they wanted a, a quieter motor. Um, this is a milk purification device for farmers in rural areas of developing countries. And our sponsor was uh, Meridian Design, which is a small engineering design firm. And uh, you're one of the judges today. Could you tell us a little bit about what that all entails? Well it's, uh, well, it's exciting for us actually. It's great to get out of the office and come see a lot of hardware and, and what students have done. It entails really going around and, and listening to presentations, asking questions, uh, judging then the students on the quality of their presentations, the quality of the work they've done over this last year. So basically this structure seen here spirals through the pipe in a corkscrew method and feeds out the laminate so it's a continual spiral as it moves down the pipe. It's a dual axis solar tracker. We have movement about the Z axis or the Z axis here and the horizontal X axis here. Um, the milk is put into this top reservoir and it is funneled down through a reflector and past the UVC bulbs. Uh, it is usually employed in environmental monitoring systems and our application is specifically for uh, saving firefighters from uh, potential dangers in their environment. We can image the terrain from an unmanned aerial vehicle and capture visible light, infrared light, and also radar signals on the ground. So uh, what would you say would be some of the benefits of an event like this for both uh, students and industry? Mm -hmm. Well, the students um, is getting getting your hands dirty. I mean, it's it's enough to be in the in the in the classroom reading the books and taking the tests. But ultimately, you really know it when you can when you can build it. What Jason is doing here is he has our device actually on his head, and this is portably reading his brain waves. So we had electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, biosystems engineers. We all had to basically combine our knowledge in order to accomplish a goal that we couldn't have done without having all these uh, different disciplines working together. And I can tell you, when I'm looking on a resume, if they've got hardware experience, they can say they've built something, they've tested it, they've broken it, they, you know, they've gone through the frustrations and the, and the heartache of, of trying to get something to work right. That, that definitely gives them a plus up on a, on a job that they might be getting later. Our actual design that we presented here on Design Day will be implemented on this front south facing wall. Uh, this uh, project recently got Gates Foundation funding to be tested um, this summer in Africa. This is a real life project we're doing here and uh, when we go out and work in industry we're going to be working in similar projects and uh, this really gives us uh, a higher level of confidence, good experience, uh, so we, are, we get ready to go out and work in the industry. That was a great experience and will be very valuable in my career. Alright, so this will definitely help you after you graduate, right? Oh, definitely, yes. Alright, thank you very much, hey, Matt. Thank you. Thanks so much, William. It was great thank talking you, Lisa. with you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Matthew, it was great talking to you. Thanks for sharing your project You with too. Us. Well, thank you very much, Cindy. Thanks, Manisha. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Well, your project looks really, really good, and good luck. Thank you. <laughs>